All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Um, market's a little shaky yesterday afternoon and this morning. Um, you know, I'm not here to get into like the big macro type stuff, but you know, there's just a the the saying I will give you, and you'll hear me say this a lot, is you know, markets hate uncertainty, and there's just a lot of uncertainty with the uh you know with the, the stimulus bill and you know we're a couple weeks from the election um probably has market spooked as well so um that being said you know the the, the great thing about penny stocks is they typically don't really care uh, i just wanted to begin with that you know if you're if you we talk about swing trades a lot so if you're you know if you're trading uh, you know, a multi-day or a multi-week hold, you know, might, might be a time to maybe go to cash or, you know, if you're, here's the thing, if you're swinging something and you're sitting on a nice gain, definitely nothing wrong with taking gains, playing defense, you know, again, especially with the stimulus bill and the, you know, and the election's just a couple weeks away right now, um, et cetera. So, all right, that being said, let's get to work. BGFV. Big Five Sporting Goods. Um, sells a lot of guns. Thoughts. Um, nice breakout, uh, James. You know, this is one I remember talking about back here when it, when it broke 52-week highs. Definitely a weak open red to green. I, slow mover. So BGFE, slow moving, boring stock, but for sure a weak open red to green. Let it prove itself. Um, APTX, yeah. So APTX, definitely kind of the momentum runner du jour. Little bit higher float, but it's already traded 12 million shares. And you know, one of the things I was looking at last night on APTX, uh, you know, this big gap down back in 2019 got destroyed, I'm guessing, probably on bad data. Last night they had good data. By no means am I saying this is going to fill the gap all the way back up, but we talk about bag holders. You know, there's probably a lot of people that have been waiting for this news and, you know, adding, adding, they're probably adding to losers, you know? <laughs> I mean, simple fact is there's probably a lot of people adding to a losing position, trying to average down into this good data, but buyers are buyers and we're short-term biased. And if there's a bunch of people buying, we want to join that momentum. I would look for breaks over eight, probably risk on, you know, last night's highs down in the 720s. So 834 APTX discussion of big gap to fill and riding the bag holders coattails. Now, we're not bag holders here. We're short term momentum traders but doesn't mean um discussion jesus that is <laughs> discussion <laughs> uh but that doesn't mean we can't capitalize on people adding to losing positions um any peloton sympathy plays under five um a steam i don't know you know the lower priced Peloton sympathy play is NLS, but great question, A team. I now I would say this. Hey, I show up every day trying to help you guys out. Maybe I ask for a favor in return. Anybody know? Are there any cheap stay-at-home fitness plays out there? Uh, I would love to know. Would love to know. But great question, A team. So um 835 uh if you see any low priced stay at home fitness tickers 
I would love to know. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, FSLY. Ooh, no, bad. They had bad news the other day. A T I F. Chinese finance, not my favorite sector. Beat down chart and a history of one and dones. Um, man, look at these one and dones. So A T I F, not what I like. So 836, ATIF, Chinese finance, play with history of one and dones. And when I say one and done, that's that big spike. Yo, I mean, I mean, right here. You want to know a one and done candle back on January 29th? I mean, that big wick, you know, basically that, that I think, it, you know, Somebody's probably going to correct me, but I'm gravestone doji, right? I mean, I'm familiar with candle. Uh, you know, there's a million of them out there, but I believe you would call this a gravestone doji. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, that, that big wick and small body, and then it closes basically at the low of the day. So when I say a one and done, that's a gravestone doji and I don't want to buy a Chinese finance play that's probably going to give me another Gravestone Doji. So that's my opinion on ATIF. Uh, APTX, yep, 52 week high again. Uh, CBLI. This is merger news. So this is tying two sinking ships together. Um, again, not my favorite type of play. So 838 um, CBLI afternoon only, in my opinion. Tying two sinking ships together. So I don't, I listen, it's 2020, anything's possible, but I don't get excited by two failing biotechs merging. That is just out of all the potential news or potential catalysts, that's the best I can tell you. I'm, I'm not, I'm not in love with this. I mean, it's low float. It's rotated the float. That's why I say afternoon only. That's when I say let it prove itself. But when it comes to getting aggressive early, I don't. I don't like it. I mean, I feel so. Uh, I feel like such a Debbie Downer today. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm poo pooing half of the ideas, but. At the, ultimately, all I can do is give you my opinion, and that's my opinion on CBLI. Ugh, tons of resistance at 150. Man, I mean, I'm back to kind of APTX. I'm sorry to be so negative, my friends. Um, it's, it, it's, you know, it's not you guys. I love all of you. It's just the tickers. So um CYDY has news. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Craig, so Craig Thompson. I mean, I'm glad they got news, but, you know, 
It's always, and I'm, listen, former runner, uh, has coronavirus news. It's just, I can't, you know, and, and, and long time listeners will be like, oh great, here we go again. But it's just really tough for me to give a, a, a plan on an OTC trading 3,000 shares. So Craig, afternoon VWAP hold, afternoon breakouts, needs volume. So that's 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 the bummer. Because I don't know, I have no idea, I have no way of knowing if this is going to get volume. So nice that it has CV news, but like all OTCs, let's revisit this afternoon. So I'll be live on my personal Instagram at noon. Let's talk about CYDY. You know, because then at noon, I can be like, okay, it's traded 3 million shares or it's traded 30 million shares, etc. cetera. So um, ITRM. Ah! <laughs> Man, I don't like being so negative. You guys know I'm Mr. Positivity. <laughs> no fan of this chart either. <sighs> XPEV. And again, it's not you guys. It's just the it's just the, the, the stuff on scan. So <sighs> yuck. <laughs> One more. I'm I'm back to the point where for me, it's probably my two mains. Let, let's let's wrap up. So, or yeah, um, my main two mains. My main two mains. <laughs> Aptx, morning momentum, play and JKS weak open red two green. Other than that, it's just it's it's not much out there, man. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. did we talk about Acor? Once you asking about Acor, did we talk about Acor? Yeah, we did. We did. Yep. All these crappy tickers are mixing together. <laughs> um, bit. Let's finish on this Bitcoin and miners. Um, what's Bitcoin doing this morning? Um, uh, Coinbase. Still up, you know, Mara and Riot. But I think, you know, you need something to happen with Bitcoin. We've been at this, you know, the bummer with Bitcoin is we've been at this 12,000 level since, you know, summer. So I think, in my opinion, our, our phantom, we need like a big move on Bitcoin, you know, like 13, 14, 15,000. There's just, we've just had so many fake outs that I'm just, I can't, I can't get excited about the Maras or the riots until we get a real move. So, all right, guys, as always, sorry. Um, I, I just, you know, I, I don't like, poo-pooing uh, uh, everyone's ideas, but just nothing with crazy volume, nothing with a great chart, you know, back to APTX over eight is probably air quotes the best out there. Um, it's a long day. You know, we got plenty, the, the, you know, obviously it's only 845. Jeez, AI edge, just move. 8.30 press release. Okay. Nice move on AIHS. So I'll add that to my mains too. So. Okay. Nothing wrong with playing defense. Cash is a position. Hoping for an, a dip and rip on AIHS. So 8.45 AIHS. Let's dip early then break two after the open for the dip and rip 
du jour. So, all right. Have a great day, my friends. Um, and we will uh, check out the Steady Trade team. As I always say, I'm going live over there for 45 minutes at 9 a.m. And uh, see you next time.